नमस्कार हार्दिक स्वागत है आप सभी दर्शकों का इसरो के एक और महत्वपूर्ण मिशन में जिसका नाम है एल वी एम थ्री एम टू वन वेब इंडिया वन मिशन मैं विकास वर्णकार सतीश धवन अंतरिक्ष केंद्र शाह श्रीहरिकोटा के मिशन नियंत्रण कक्ष से आप सभी दर्शकों का हार्दिक स्वागत अभिनंदन करता हूं आज मध्य रात्रि के पश्चात 23 अक्टूबर 2022 को बारह बजकर सात मिनट पर इसरो के भीमकाय रॉकेट एल थ्री का प्रमोचन शार के द्वितीय प्रमोचन मंच से किया जा रहा है इस प्रमोचन का मुख्य मिशन होगा वन वेब द्वारा निर्मित 36 उपग्रहों को 601 किलोमीटर की वृत्ताकार निम्न भू कक्षा में स्थापित करना भारत सरकार के अंतरिक्ष विभाग के अधीन भारतीय अंतरिक्ष अनुसंधान संगठन इसरो की वाणिज्यिक शाखा न्यू स्पेस इंडिया लिमिटेड एनएसआईएल के माध्यम से यह मांग आधारित पहला एल थ्री का समर्पित वाणिज्यिक मिशन है यह एक ऐतिहासिक उपलब्धि है क्योंकि इस प्रमोचन के साथ जीएसएलवी एस मार्क थ्री वैश्विक वाणिज्यिक प्रमोचन सेवा बाजार में प्रवेश कर रहा है नमस्ते व्यूअर्स एंड हार्टी वेलकम टू द लाइव टेलीकास्ट ऑफ एल वी एम थ्री एम टू वन वेब इंडिया वन मिशन फ्रॉम द मिशन कंट्रोल सेंटर आई एम माधुरी ब्रिंगिंग टू यू द कॉमेंट्री फॉर द लॉन्च यू आर वॉचिंग इट लाइव ऑन डी डी नेशनल लाइव टेलीकास्ट इज ऑल्सो अवेलेबल ऑन इसरो वेबसाइट यूट्यूब फेसबुक एंड ट्विटर एल वी एम थ्री एम टू वन वेब इंडिया वन मिशन अबाउट टू बी लॉन्च फ्रॉम द सेकेंड लॉन्च पैड ऑफ सतीश धवन स्पेस सेंटर शार श्री हरिकोटा द ओनली स्पेस पोर्ट ऑफ इंडिया लोकेटेड इन द सदर्न स्टेट ऑफ आंध्र प्रदेश ऑन द ईस्टर्न कोस्ट द लॉन्च विल टेक प्लेस एट द इंडियन स्टैंडर्ड टाइम ऑफ सेवन मिनट्स एंड फोर्टी सेकेंड्स पास्ट मिड नाइट ऑन ट्वेंटी थर्ड ऑक्टोबर This will be the first commercial launch for the geosynchronous satellite Mark launch vehicle Mark 3, abbreviated as LVM3, to carry 36 numbers of satellites belonging to Messrs Network Access Associates Limited UK or Messrs OneWeb through the commercial arm of ISRO, New Space India Limited. The OneWeb satellites are intended to provide LEO-based broadband services for commercial usage. Cumulative payload mass of the satellite is 5,834.4 kg. Let me also intimate the viewers that the payload capacity of LVM3 into the low Earth orbit is 8,000 kg. 36 satellites will be placed in 601 km altitude. With 87.4 degrees inclination in batches of four satellites simultaneously. Up next is the brief informative video for the mission. Go ahead. Activity 391. Charging up via hydraulic accumulator. Commence and health checks are normal. at the second launch pad at Satish Dhawan Space Center to carry its first commercial payload of United Kingdom's global communications network OneWeb Today we are going to witness one of the historic events in the 
space activities of this country, the launch of GSLV Mark III, the LVM-3, one web, one mission, happening from Sadish Savan Space Center, Sri Harikota. This is the first ever commercial launch of the new rocket LVM-3. And we are very happy to have our customers, one web, uh, having their 36 satellites ready to be deployed in this mission. Well, it's truly a red letter day today for India, for NCEL ISRO, and importantly for OneWeb. As we embark upon the 14th launch of OneWeb, which will inject 36 new satellites into the orbit, this becomes a very special moment for all of us. I am therefore very glad that today we are lifting off one of the most important missions from India on a GSLV Mark III rocket, India's heavy lift rocket, which will take 36 satellites to the low Earth orbit. It will place 36 satellites in a low Earth orbit, increasing the one web fleet to 464. Further launches in 2023 will complete the constellation. The satellites will be arranged in 12 rings with 49 satellites in each plane. Each satellite will complete a full trip around the Earth every 109 minutes. While the Earth will be rotating underneath satellites, the satellites will always be flying over new locations on the ground. OneWeb's mission is to deliver global connectivity services and with this launch, OneWeb will be one step closer to offering its high-speed, low-latency services to connect governments, businesses and communities around the world. OneWeb has partnered with New Space India Limited, ENSIL, the commercial arm of Indian Space Research Organization for this launch. Today's launch of uh, LVM 3M2 mission is uh, extremely significant milestone for New Space India Limited as it would open up the big global commercial launch service market for this heavy lift launcher. Especially in the context when many operators world over are looking to build a LEO satellites as part of constellation for meeting global communication needs. This effort of New Space India Limited would go a long way in enhancing India's market share in the global space economy. LVM3 has established itself as a reliable launch vehicle of ISRO. In the past few days, ISRO has been diligently making the vehicle launch ready for this flight. LVM3 M2 will for the first time launch multiple satellites into low Earth orbit and has the heaviest payload mass till date. With this launch, LVM-3 will mark entry into the international commercial service market and reach new heights. Roger. Now you have seen in the video of Sanchipt, Secretary DOS. Chairman Bharti Mitchell Group Tata CMD NSIL ne is mission ke mahatu ke baare mein hume bataya LVM3 launch vehicle Mark 3 ki kul 4 udane ho chuki hai aur ya sabhi udane safal rahi hai December 2014 ko GSLV Mark 3 care mission se shurwaat karte huye GSLV ने अपने विकासशील मिशन D1, D2 में सफलता प्राप्त की और उच्च भार को अंतरिक्ष तक ले जाने का प्रदर्शन किया। फिर 22 जुलाई 2019 को भारत का गौरवपूर्ण चंद्रयान 2 भी GSLV Mark 3 की सफलता पूर्वक प्रमोशन से किया गया। आज इस कड़ी में एक नया मील का पत्थर साबित होने जा रहा है। इसरो के सभी केंद्रों से वैज्ञानिक अभियंताओं की योगदान से तैयार यह प्रमोचन यान पूर्णतः सज्ज है वन वेब इंडिया वन मिशन को पूरा करने के लिए इस लॉन्च की उल्टी गिनती ठीक 24 घंटे पूर्व प्रारंभ हो चुकी है 
इस दौरान यान को पौरान कर सभी स्वास्थ्य जांच पूरे किए जा चुके हैं तरल नोदक के भराव की स्थिति प्राप्त कर भराव किया जा चुका है बैटरी का आवेशन सभी ट्रैकिंग स्टेशन के संचार जांच मिशन कंप्यूटर वास्तविक समय तंत्र एकॉस्टिक सप्रेशन सिस्टम गायरो पैकेजेस आदि की जांच पूरी की जा चुकी है अब कुछ अंतिम जांचों के पश्चात यान निदेशक ऑटोमेटिक लॉन्च सीक्वेंस शुरू करेंगे The countdown for the LVM3 M2 One Web India One mission is 24 hours long and has begun at midnight on 22nd of October 2022. Typically during the countdown, the liquid propellants are serviced into the stages. The gas bottles for command and pressurization are charged to the requisite pressure. The avionic systems are subjected to checks. Critical ground systems are subjected to health checks. All these activities are currently in progress at the launch complex. Roger. We are about 21 minutes from the launch time. Minus 21 minutes. Uh, request all stations change over to channel 2. CNC to TTC director, all strike elements are ready to support to launch of LVM 3 M2 One Web India One mission. TTC director Roger. Minus 20 minutes. Storage started at LCC. Storage started at LCC. Normal L1 stage is cleared for LVM 3 M2 One Web India One mission. Cryo Chief confirms normal share of C25 stage. Control to note, event number 447 completed. The mission executives are conveying the readiness of their respective systems. This is vehicle director. Based on the vehicle system performance, LVM3 M2, One Web India One mission, launch vehicle is ready for launch. Satellite director to mission director. Uh, all satellite and dispenser are ready for launch. Roger. Our to mission director. The engine is ready for the launch of LVM3 M2 One Web India One mission. Roger. TC director to uh, mission director. Distract TC stations and network is ready for supporting uh, LVM3 M2 One Web India One mission. Roger. This is mission director. Based on the clearances from vehicle director, satellite director, range operations director, TTC director, the LVM3 M2 One Web India One mission is authorized. All stations to note, mission director has given authorization for launch. Abhi abhi aapne suna, strike ke nideshak. Ugra Nideshak, Yan Nideshak, Range Nideshak, Telemetry Tracking and Command Nideshak and Sabhi ne apne tantro ki suchna mission Nideshak ko dedi aur iske baad in sabhi tantro ko santosh janak paane par mission Nideshak ne automatic launch sequence tata launch ko aage jane ki anumati dedi hai. You have watched on your screens the mission director clearing the launch and authorizing the start of automatic launch sequence a little while ago. The vehicle is hereafter on the onboard computers. The final parameter verification of the rocket stages takes place. 
Decisions will be taken by the onboard computers in autonomous mode hereafter. October in the early morning of LVM three M two mission from India's spaceport Sri Arikota is for launching thirty six numbers of one web ten one satellites. With this launch, we are entering into the international commercial launch through ENSEL. This is the first commercial mission for LVM three through ENSEL, and it is our first multi satellite mission to no Earth orbit. It is also the first launch from India. With a six-ton payload, which is the highest ISRO has done so far. The nozzle in segment of S-200 is assembled with the nozzle and control system elements, and thereafter the middle and head end segments in dedicated assembly towers and shifted on to the mobile launch pedestal for the assembly of igniter and the strap-on nose cone that houses control electronics. and this is being carried out in the solid stage assembly building called SSAB S200 motor ko purn paripak ko utpadan pranali ke sath solid motor production complex shar dwara nirmit kiya jata hai ya ya motor teen segment se bana hota hai aapne dekha sar pratham NES ko rakha gaya fir middle segment uske upar HES segment aur अंत में इग्नाइटर को एकीकृत किया गया अब आप देख रहे हैं एस टू हंड्रेड नोज कोन को एस टू हंड्रेड के ऊपर में एकीकृत किया जा रहा है एस टू हंड्रेड नोज कोन के अंदर वो सभी संबंधित एवियोनिक्स तंत्र उपलब्ध होते हैं जो एस टू हंड्रेड के स्वास्थ्य जांच तथा कार्य के लिए आवश्यक होते हैं which is making its debut into the global commercial launch service market sgsc is responsible for realizing two numbers of s200 solid motor strap ons for each lvm3 all the major subsystems were converged at sgsc shar which includes l110 stage c25 cryo stage and payload fairings which are all assembled in a seamless manner the entire operation of 36 numbers of one web satellite to dispenser and payload adapter were carried out in a record time without compromising any of the quality reliability and safety measures and were done in a qualified clean room sgsc shar provided the requisite mechanical electrical and checkout interfaces and verified the same integration of the lvm3 m2 vehicle by stacking the stages were carried out in ssab and vab facilities and moved to launch pad on 15th october 2022 during the entire launch campaign there was no anomalies in the meantime the range system involving radar telecommand motr ground station communication vehicle surveillance cctv sub systems were verified along with the real time networks mission computers meteorology range and ground safety systems we are glad to note all the range systems are ready to provide the support for lift off that's the l110 core stage being prepared in a specialized facility horizontally and it will be moved to ssab for tilting and precise assembly between the two s200 motors यहाँ आप देख रहे हैं L110 स्टेज पूरी तरह तैयार तथा परीक्षण पूर्ण होकर आईपीआरसी महेंद्र गिरी द्वारा शार लाया जाता है और शार में आगे के परीक्षण तथा एकीकरण कार्यक्रम जारी किए जाते हैं आप देख रहे हैं दो नोजल हैं या दो विकास इंजन के नोजल हैं पूर्णतः तैयार L110 स्टेज The forthcoming launch is the fifth mission in the success saga of LVM3. LVM3 is being human rated for the human space flight mission Vyagyan, and as part of human rating of LVM3, more confidence-building tests of all propulsion systems 
including L100 ton, S200 and cryo stages have been conducted successfully. This has added more confidence into the vehicle system performance and also proved the robustness of the vehicle systems. The all of mass of one verb India satellites with the dispenser is 5.8 ton and there are 36 satellites each weighing about 145 kg. The vehicle lift off mass is nearly 643 tons. The upcoming mission is a unique one which demands separation of all 36 satellites into 600 kilometer orbit and the separation has to be sequenced in such a way that the customer requirement of minimum 137 meter distance between any pair of satellite is met. This is achieved by orienting and reorienting the cryo stage using the onboard thrusters. The total mission duration from takeoff to last satellite separation is more than 5500 seconds or about 91 minutes. In order to be compatible with the customer satellite dispenser interface, the payload adapter was modified and a new PLA was realized. Assembled launch vehicle is then moved from the low B solid stage assembly building to the high B vehicle assembly building for assembly of upper stages and encapsulated assembly. S200 or L110 ko samanajit kar vehicle assembly building laya gaya. Proportion complex have realized and delivered the L110 and C25 stages for this vehicle. L110 stage is the liquid stage with 110 tons of UH25 and N2O4 propellant combination powered by twin Vigas engines delivering 160 tons of thrust. This stage function is managed by 69 fluid control components and modules. The C25 cryogenic stage is fully indigenously developed with LH2 and large propellant loading of 28 tons and is powered by a 19 ton thrust CE20 cryogenic engine operating on gas generator cycle. For this mission, C25 stage alone adds a velocity of 14,800 km per hour which is 54% of the total incremental velocity required for this mission. This mission is a very complex mission. After C25 stage shutdown, we have to separate all 36 satellites in various locations. For this purpose, unlike in earlier missions, C25 stage has to operate for 4,500 seconds after the C25 engine shutdown. The mission management and maneuver is done utilizing residual propellant and gases from the propellant tanks. Extensive fluid flow and thermal studies are carried out to understand the fluid behavior and propellant evaporation under micro-G conditions. To accomplish this mission, elaborate mission simulation studies are carried out and necessary improvements have been done in the vehicle and mission management systems. Uh, That's the C25 moving to VAB for assembly. अब क्रायोचरण को पूर्ण परीक्षण कर VAB लाया जाता है यह तीसरा चरण है LVM3 का इसे VAB लाकर L110 स्टेज के ऊपर में सावधानी पूर्वक समायोजित कर दिया जाता है इन द वन वेब इंडिया मिशन द LVM3 लॉन्च व्हीकल इज इक्विप्ड विद अ ऑटोनोमस इनर्शियल नेविगेशन सिस्टम दिस सिस्टम is designed with ISRO ring laser gyroscope and uh, ceramic servo accelerometers. The unique feature of uh, uh, this uh, mission is the long duration in order to accomplish separation of uh, 36 satellites in this mission. The almost one and a half hours it takes from the uh, launch to the achieving the final goal and as well as passivation of the upper stage. Another very uh, unique feature is the precision injection of each satellite such, such that they don't collide during separation. Not only to collide during separation but also maintain the separation do in the long term also. This calls for certain maneuvers as well as pointing of the uh, launch vehicle as well as add certain incremental velocity between uh, satellite separation. So this need to be done in a very precise manner and for this uh, 
the laser gyros are equipped or they have the capability to measure arc seconds that is 1 by 3600 of a degree as well as uh, micro g that is 1 millionth of a acceleration due to gravity. Also we have NAVIC based GNSS aided uh, navigation system so that the preliminary orbit determination can be carried out and the POD can be made available to the customer. Here is the equipment B. Prepared satellites assembled to the satellite dispenser and encapsulated assembly with payload fairing in the SPF2. Equipment B may just may yarn say some of that sabi avionics package ho te hai or say some ajit kar diya gaya uske pashat and tim may sabi ugraho ko some ajit kar ushma kawaj ke andar surakshit kar VAB laya jata hai. यान अपने पूर्ण स्वरूप में VAB से UT की यात्रा करता हुआ यह व्हीकल असेंबली बिल्डिंग से उम्बिलिकल टावर तक 900 मीटर की दूरी तय करता है अधिकतम वेग 10 मीटर प्रति मिनट के साथ The fully assembled LVM3 on its journey to launch pad of LVM3 M2 mission is very unique in trajectory perspective where the launch vehicle is ascending to the 600 km polar orbit with an inclination of 87.4 degree is tracked through its ground station network located at Sriharikota, Bangalore, Thiruvananthapuram, Antarctica, Svalbard and shipborne terminal SBT is strategically positioned in the Indian Ocean nearly 4500 km from Chennai that will be providing the much needed telemetry and tracking support for the launch vehicle as well as the determination of precise injection parameters for all the 36 OneWeb satellites. ISTRAC has successfully operationalized a 4.6 meter robust transportable terminal with the advanced features which can be operated at any suitable location either on land or on sea which even in rough and inclement weather can support the mission. Yan puri tara tayyar aur sajja hai apna mission pura karne ke liye ab hum udaan se 4 minute 49 second ki duri par automatic launch sequence jari hai is dauran sabhi charge on board ka mura dauri kiye ja rahe hai the launch of LVM3 M2 OneWeb India One mission is the fourth launch of ISRO in the year 2022. The earlier launches being those of Workhorse PSLV and the maiden launch for SSLV. While Satish Dhawan Space Center is all set to host its 83rd launch vehicle mission and the second launch pad its 31st mission, this is the fifth time LVM3 is set to lift off. Minus four minutes. LVM three Pancham Pedi ka promocha rocket hai. Ya beam ka rocket. पिछले सभी यानों के तुलना में सबसे अधिक विकसित तथा उन्नत अभिकल्पित किया गया है। इसकी ऊंचाई 43.5 मीटर तथा व्यास 4 मीटर का होता है। इसका कुल उत्थापन बार लगभग 640 टन का होता है। यह तीन चरणों वाला प्रमोचक रॉकेट, जिसकी क्षमता 4 टन के नितंबार को भूतुल्यकाली अंतरण कक्षा में ले जाने की है, निम्न भू कक्षा में स्थापित करने की है। इस यान के प्रथम चरण में दो 200 टन वाले ठोस नोदक S200 स्ट्रेपॉन बूस्टर कोर मिल कोर के में लगे L110 चरण जो कि तरल नोदक पर आधारित है, उसके साथ संलग्न रहते हैं। और ऊपर के चरण में 27 टन के क्रायोजेनिक इंधन पर आधारित C20 इंजन वाला C25 चरण होता है। the launch, uh, the maiden launch of the rocket had carried 
non-operational cryo stage and experimental payload crew module atmospheric re-entry experiment or care. Thereafter, the developmental launches designated as D1 and D2 had carried GSAT class of communication satellites. The first operational launch M1 had Chandrayaan-2 as its payload on 22nd of July 2019. We are about 2 minutes 10 seconds from the launch. Minus 2 minutes. इस मिशन का मुख्य उद्देश्य 36 उपग्रहों को जिनका कुल नितभार 5,834 केजी है, 601 किलोमीटर की वृत्ताकार निम्न भूकक्षा में 87.4 डिग्री के झुकाव के साथ स्थापित करना है। यह सभी पूर्णतः परीक्षित होकर इस यान में सुरक्षित अपनी कक्षा के लिए सफर करते हुए 44 के समूह में 9 बार में अपनी कक्षा में अंत हजार पांच सौ सेकंड का होगा। माइनस वन मिनट। LVM3 being a gigantic rocket, the ignition of twin S200 boosters generates enormous acoustics at the time of liftoff that have the potential to damage the electronics in launch vehicle. As a part of acoustics suppression system, huge quantities of water is injected onto the launch pedestal to provide denser medium of water droplets to attenuate the liftoff acoustics. Minus 30 seconds. Real time programs activated. Minus 25 seconds. Now we have 20 seconds to the promotion. Minus 20 seconds. Sarur Pratham, do S200 drop on booster ka prajolan hooga. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Zero. Plus five seconds. P3 tracking. Test of normal. Bhavya Uthapan, LVM3, One Web, India One Mission ka. Normal lift off and an enchantingly beautiful sight of the twin S200 boosters burning, saluted against the night sky. मध्य रात्रि को आकाश को रोशन करता हुआ S200 boosters यहाँ हम इसके कंपन महसूस कर रहे हैं Searing the night sky, the LVM3 M2 mission moves forward. 25 meters long S200 boosters, each carrying 205 tons of HTPB-based propellant. Plus one minute. Action time 126.6 seconds. They develop a peak thrust of 5,952 kilonewtons in vacuum. Pratham ka nishpadan puri tarah samanya. First stage performance normal. Iska prajolan kaal kareeb 130 second ka hooga. S200 ke prajolan kaal samapt hoonne se pahle hi L110 jo ki taral nadak par adhari charan hai. Dutiya charan ka prajolan shuru kar diya jaye ga. Now we have a confirmation about the ignition of the core L110 stage. Range operation ne deshak ne abhi ghoshna ki. Taral nodak L110 ignite. Or S200 stage ke boosters prithak kar diye gaye hain. 
The twin S-200 boosters have been separated from the ongoing launch vehicle, S L-110 core stage currently thrusting. L-110 stage performance normal. This is powered by the earth storable propellants UH-25 as fuel and N2O4 as oxidizer. The twin Vikas engine powered L-110 stage has a nominal burn duration of 200 seconds. उष्मा कवच को पृथक कर दिया गया है। अभियान 127 किलोमीटर की ऊंचाई प्राप्त कर चुका है, तथा घने वातावरण से बाहर जा चुका है। इसलिए उष्मा कवच को पृथक कर दिया गया है, और अब यान क्लोज लूप गाइडेंस के अंतर्गत है। Having crossed the dense atmosphere, the payload fairings have been separated, and the Rocket is currently moving forward in closed loop guidance. L110 currently thrusting. L110 stage में लगभग 110 टन के US25 तथा N2O4 इंधन के रूप में प्रयोग किए जाते हैं। इनकी मदद से यह चरण 1600 किलोन्यूटन का प्रणोद उत्पन्न करता है तथा इसका प्रज्वलन काल 200 सेकेंड का होगा। L110 carries the rocket to 282.4 km altitude. Shah, Trivandrum and Bangalore ground stations are currently acquiring the trajectory data. Dutti Charan Kanishpadan Samanya, Prajolan Kal Ke Purno Hone Tak, Ya Yan Ko Kari Dozar Beasi km Ki Uchai Pradan Kardega. और 3.3 किलोमीटर प्रति सेकंड का वेग प्रदान करेगा। Developing a vacuum thrust of 1,598 kilonewtons. This stage empties the entire propellant of 110 tons in 200 seconds. That is close to 550 kg in a second. Plus 5 minutes. Agla charan, cryo charan hai. L110 shut off and separated. L110 charan ko prithak kar C25, jo ki tritiya charan hai. Uska prajwalan shuru ho chuka hai. और वह सामान्य निष्पादन कर रहा है। As announced by the range operations director, we now have the confirmation of the successful ignition of the C-25 cryogenic stage. Currently, the altitude is 333 kilometers. तृतीय व अंतिम चरण LVM-3 का cryogenic इंधन पर आधारित चरण है जो कि LH2 और LOX को इंधन की तरह उपयोग में लाता है यह एक जटिल इंजन है C20 इस चरण को C25 चरण कहा जाता है क्योंकि इसमें लगभग 25 टन का क्रायोजेनिक इंधन होता है इस चरण का प्रज्वलन L110 चरण के बंद हो जाने के तुरंत बाद कर दिया जाता है इस चरण में लगभग 650 सेकंड तक प्रचलित कर 200 किलो न्यूटन का प्रणोद उत्पन्न किया जाता है, जिससे अंतिम चरण है, जो उपग्रहों को उनकी अंतक्षेपण की कक्षीय स्थितियां प्रदान करता है। The cryogenic upper stage of LVM3, called the C25, carries 27 tons of propellant, liquid hydrogen as fuel, and liquid oxygen as oxidizer. The advantage of using cryogenic stages is their remarkably high specific impulse. For the C25 stage, it is 4,344.3 newton second per kg. Plus the total thrust minutes. generated is 180 kilonewtons. During the 640 seconds of its operation, there is overlapping visibility from Shar, Trivandrum, Bangalore tracking stations. यान के सभी स्वास्थ्य जानकारियां 
हमें भू स्थित ट्रैकिंग स्टेशन की मदद से यहां प्राप्त होती हैं इस मिशन के लिए शार बेंगलोर त्रिवेंद्रम शिव बॉन ट्रैकिंग स्टेशन अंटार्कटिका स्वालबर्ड तथा लखनऊ स्थित ट्रैकिंग स्टेशन हमें सेवाएं उपलब्ध करा रहे हैं इस समय शार बेंगलोर तथा त्रिवेंद्रम स्थित ट्रैकिंग स्टेशन हमें इस यान की पूरी जानकारी उपलब्ध करा रहे हैं तृतीय चरण का निष्पादन पूरी तरह सामान्य अब हम उत्थापन से 480 सेकंड की दूरी पर आ चुके हैं यान की ऊंचाई 500 किलोमीटर सापेक्ष गति 3.7 किलोमीटर प्रति सेकंड view from the vip gallery where you can see Views former chairman of the isro more than 19 minutes into the flight the orbital conditions for the injection of satellites will be achieved on your screens now founder and chairman of bharti enterprises shri sunil mittal plus 9 minutes now a few words about the one web gen 1 satellites one web is a global communications network forward from space enabling connectivity for governments businesses and communities it is implementing a constellation of low earth orbit satellites india's bharti enterprises serves as a major investor and stakeholder in oneweb this is oneweb's 14th launch and the first with isro and nsil oneweb satellites are arranged in 12 orbital planes with 49 satellites in each plane in circular orbit the constellation will have a total of 648 satellites each satellite of one web gen 1 weighs 150 kg plus 10 minutes c25 triti charan lvm3 ka samanya nishpadan karta hua और यान पूर्वानुमानित पथ को अनुसरण करता हुआ अपने उद्दिष्ट कक्षा की ओर बढ़ रहा है वरिष्ठ वैज्ञानिक चेयरमैन आई एस आर ओ अब करीब 200 सेकंड की दूरी पर हम कक्षा की स्थितियां प्राप्त करते ही उपग्रहों को उनकी उद्दिष्ट कक्षा में स्थापित करेंगे क्रयो स्टेज परफॉर्मेंस नॉर्मल द पोल टू पोल कनेक्टिविटी ऑफ दिस सैटेलाइट कॉन्स्टलेशन कंबाइंड विद द ग्राउंड सेगमेंट इंश्योर्स बेटर लुक एंगल्स फॉर द सिग्नल स्ट्रेंथ अनलेस द कन्वेंशनल जियो स्टेशनरी सैटेलाइट वेर द सिग्नल स्ट्रेंथ diminishes at high latitude regions as one web slogan says it all creating universal connections one web in upgrahon ko gen 1 satellites ka naam diya hai one web ek vaishvik sanchar network hai jo ki antariksh mein apni sevaaye pradan karega इस संचार तंत्र से संचार नेटवर्क को सरकार व्यापार तथा वृहद समुदाय को संचार सेवाएं उपलब्ध होंगी इसे कार्यान्वित करने के लिए वन वेब के द्वारा एक नक्षत्र मंडल तैयार किया जा रहा है जिसे हम सैटेलाइट कॉन्स्टिलेशन के नाम से जानते हैं भारत के भारतीय उद्यम वन वेब के मुख्य शेयर होल्डर हैं यह वन वेब का चौदवा लॉन्च है इसके साथ ही इसरो और एनएसआईएल अंतरिक्ष के वैश्विक बाजार में नया अध्याय शुरू करने जा रहे हैं वन वेब को इस नक्षत्र को पूरा करने के लिए कुल 
648 उपग्रहों को प्रक्षेपित करना है अब हम उड़ान से 750 सेकंड की दूरी पर आ चुके हैं यान की ऊंचाई 612 किलोमीटर तथा सापेक्ष गति 5.4 किलोमीटर प्रति सेकंड। तृतीय चरण सामान्य निष्पादन करता हुआ और उद्दिष्ट कक्षा की ओर अग्रसर As we told you earlier, a set of four satellites will be injected in 605.8 kilometers altitude at 19 minutes 45 seconds into the launch. Cryo stage performance normal. जैसा कि अभी हमने बताया यह चरण 650 सेकंड तक प्रज्वलित होगा इसी अंतिम चरण के प्रज्वलन काल में प्रथम समूह के उपग्रहों को उद्दिष्ट कक्षा में स्थापित किया जाएगा तत्पश्चात क्रमानुसार उचित अभिवृत्ति प्राप्त कर अन्य समूहों को उनके कक्षा में अंतक्षेपित किया जाएगा प्रथम चार उपग्रहों के समूह की उद्दिष्ट कक्षा 602.3 किलोमीटर की ऊंचाई तथा सापेक्ष गति 7.54 किलोमीटर प्रति सेकंड निर्धारित है We are about 900 seconds into the launch. The current altitude is 602.8 kilometers and a relative velocity close to 7 kilometers per second. वर्तमान में शिप शिप बॉन्ड टर्मिनल के द्वारा हमें इस ट्रैक के डेटा उपलब्ध कराए जा रहे हैं। अब कुछ ही क्षणों में उपग्रह की अंतक्षेपण की स्थितियां प्राप्त कर ली जाएंगी रेंज ऑपरेशन निदेशक की अभी घोषणा हुई तृतीय चरण को बंद कर दिया गया है अब यह प्राप्त वेग को जारी रखते हुए कक्षा की स्थितियां प्राप्त करेगा आफ्टर द फर्स्ट बैच ऑफ सैटेलाइट इंजेक्शन अ सेकेंड सेट ऑफ फोर सैटेलाइट विल बी सेपरेटेड थर्टी सेकेंड्स लेटर एट ऑलमोस्ट द सेम ऑल्टीट्यूड विथ ऑलमोस्ट सेम रिलेटिव वेलोसिटी The third separation event in the satellite injection is scheduled 800 seconds later, that is to say 33 minutes 35 seconds into the flight. Fourth separation occurs 30 seconds later. The third and fourth batch of satellites are injected into 619 kilometers orbit after the cryogenic stage reorients itself appropriately. Until this time, the shipborne tracking terminal and Antarctica ground stations would have completed their range of tracking and the rocket would have gone to the other side of Earth. Next five batches will be separated in predetermined timeline like this. Fifth batch at 47 minutes 26 seconds into flight, 
sixth batch at 48 minutes into flight, seventh batch at 61 minutes 16 seconds into flight, eighth batch at 61 minutes 46 seconds into flight, and finally the ninth batch at 75 minutes 6 seconds into the flight. प्रथम समूह के अंतक्षेपण की स्थितियां प्राप्त की जा चुकी हैं और कुछ ही क्षणों में प्रथम चार उपग्रह जिनका नाम है वन के थ्री के फाइव के तथा सेवन के अंतक्षेपित किए जाएंगे क्रायोजेनिक स्टेज इज रीओरिएंटिंग इट सेल्फ फॉर द फर्स्ट बैच of satellite separation. Aap your animation dek pa rahe hain. C25 जो कि तृतीय चरण है LVM3 का उसे बंद कर दिया गया है तथा थ्रस्टर्स की मदद से इसे उचित अभिवृत्ति प्रदान की जा रही है द नेम्स ऑफ द फर्स्ट बैच ऑफ सेटेलाइट आर 1K, 3K, 5K एंड 7K whose injection we are eagerly awaiting. प्रथम समूह को सफलतापूर्वक अंतक्षेपित कर दिया गया है प्रथम चार वन के थ्री के फाइव के तथा सेवन के उपग्रह पृथक हो चुके हैं वी हैव द कंफर्मेशन फ्रॉम द रेंज ऑपरेशन डायरेक्टर दैट द फर्स्ट बैच ऑफ फोर सैटेलाइट नेमली वन के थ्री के फाइव के एंड सेवन के हैव बिन सक्सेसफुली सेपरेटेड and the second batch also have been successfully separated their names are 2a 4a 6a and 8a ji ha ditiya samoh 2a 4a 6a tatha 8a upgrahon ko bhi safalta purvak antakshepit kar diya gaya hai iske pashchat C25 तृतीय चरण LVM3 पुनः अभिवृत्ति निश्चित करेगा और अगले 800 सेकंड के पश्चात अगले चार उपग्रहों के समूहों को अंतक्षेपित करेगा Cryo stage reorienting itself again for the separation event of the next batch of satellites. The third batch of satellites will be injected into 619 kilometers orbit. The scheduled time of separation is 33 minutes 37.5 seconds into the flight. तृतीय चरण फिर से अभिवृत्ति 
नियंत्रित करता हुआ अब हम उड़ान से तेरह सेकंड की दूरी पर आ चुके हैं यान की ऊंचाई 608 किलोमीटर तथा सापेक्ष गति सात दशमलव पांच तीन आठ किलोमीटर प्रति सेकंड है As we await the next separation event for the satellites, let me intimate the viewers that after the separation of third and fourth batches of satellites, the visibility of the launch vehicle is available to the Svalbard sta tracking station only after another 350 seconds, that is 81 minutes into the flight. It is then that the confirmation of satellite separation is received at the mission control center. The live transmission will be halted while the rocket is out of the tracking range and resume at appropriate time. This mission ka karya kal. करीब 4,500 सेकंड का है इस दौरान हमें शेप वॉर्न टर्मिनल की मदद से सभी आंकड़े उपलब्ध हो रहे हैं The LVM-31 Web India 1 mission is about to set several firsts, like it's been the first commercial mission of LVM-3 with NSIL. First time ever, LVM-3 is carrying multiple satellites and injecting them in the low Earth orbit. This is the largest ever an Indian rocket is carrying, that is the six tons of payload. This gigantic launch vehicle of ISRO, LVM-3, is carrying six tons for this mission, which is the aggregate mass of the 36 OneWeb satellites and the satellite dispenser. Speaking about the association, this is the first time that OneWeb has collaborated with New Space India Limited, Department of Space. आइए इस दौरान आपको वन वेब के बारे में जानकारी देते हैं वन वेब का ऐतिहासिक लॉन्च कार्यक्रम जारी है इस मिशन को वन वेब ने लॉन्च 14 का नाम दिया है लॉन्च 14 सतीश धवन अंतरिक्ष केंद्र से भेजा जा रहा है इसमें 36 उपग्रहों के समूह को प्रमोचित कर दुनिया का पहला पृथ्वी की निचली कक्षा का नक्षत्र मंडल तैयार किया जा रहा है और यह नक्षत्र 2023 तक हाई स्पीड लो लेटेंसी की संचार सुविधाएं प्रदान करने में सक्षम हो जाएगा वन वेब ने इस प्रक्षेपण के लिए अंतरिक्ष विभाग की वाणिज्यिक शाखा एन के साथ भागीदारी की इस मिशन में कुल 36 उपग्रहों के समूह के साथ वन वेब की कुल उपग्रहों की संख्या चार हो जाएगी 2023 तक यह नक्षत्र मंडल पूरा करने के उद्देश्य से वन वेब इस मिशन में कार्यरत है वन वेब आम जनता के लिए संचार सुविधाएं प्रदान कर सामर्थ्य गति विश्वसनीयता तथा डिजिटल साक्षरता के आधार पर विभाजित समाज को जोड़ने की एक मुहिम चला रहा है सूचना तक दुनिया की पहुंच को बेहतर बनाने के लिए वन वेब का एक मजबूत सामाजिक उद्देश्य है जैसा कि हमने आपको पहले बताया यह मिशन कुल 4,500 सेकंड का मिशन है लेकिन उत्थापन से 2200 सेकंड तक यह यान और उपग्रह प्रमोचन को हमारे भू स्टेशन ट्रैक कर सकेंगे उसके बाद यान अपनी यात्रा जारी रखेगा 
लेकिन हमारे ट्रैकिंग क्षेत्र से बाहर चला जाएगा और पुनः संचार स्थापित होने तक हम स्टैंड बाय कंडीशन में रहेंगे जैसे ही स्वालबर्ड स्थित ट्रैकिंग स्टेशन से संचार स्थापित हो जाएगा हम बाकी के 20 उपग्रहों के अंतक्षेपण की पुष्टि कर पाएंगे प्रथम 16 उपग्रहों के प्रमोचन के पश्चात यह हमारे ट्रैकिंग क्षेत्र से बाहर होगा इसलिए यह प्रसारण 40 मिनट बाद पुनः जारी किया जाएगा This wait takes me back to the reminiscences of the previous launch of LVM-3 carrying the Chandrayaan-2 as its payload. It was India's second mission to the moon. It had comprised a fully indigenous orbiter lander Vikram and rover Pragyan. Enthusiasm was rife among the scientific fraternity and general public alike for the lander. The challenges for that mission were to carry a heavy payload and inject it precisely in a highly elliptical orbit so that the further orbit raising maneuvers for Chandrayaan 2 are economical from propellant budget point of view. Follow on missions to bridge the gap of understanding the lunar ambience are on the anvil for ISRO. There are also several ways for the common public to associate with ISRO and its programs. Apart from watching the launch live on its social media portals and Doodarshan National, viewers can visit SDSC Shar and its launch view gallery, which has the capacity to host 10,000 visitors simultaneously for the launch. ISRO undertakes several outreach activities as a part of World Space Week, which was held between 4th to 10th October. Triti Charan सामान्य निष्पादन करता हुआ पुनः अभिवृत्ति प्राप्त कर रहा है अगले चार उपग्रह के समूह के प्रमोचन के लिए अब हम उत्थापन से 30 मिनट 36 सेकंड की दूरी पर आ चुके हैं यान की ऊंचाई है 616 किलोमीटर तथा सापेक्ष गति 7.53 किलोमीटर प्रति सेकेंड अगले चार समूह के उपग्रहों का नाम 1A, 3A, 5A तथा 7A है जिन्हें 619 किलोमीटर की ऊंचाई तथा 7.53 की किलोमीटर प्रति सेकेंड की सापेक्ष गति के साथ अंतक्षेपित किया जाना है तृतीय समूह के अंतक्षेपण के 30 सेकेंड के पश्चात चतुर्थ समूह को भी अंतक्षेपित कर दिया जाएगा We are about two minutes away from the scheduled separation of the third batch of satellites, namely 1A, 3A, 5A and 7A. 30 seconds later, another batch of four satellites, namely 2B, 4B, 6B and 8B are scheduled to be separated. Cryo stage reorienting itself to prepare for the next separation event.
यान पूरी तरह सामान्य वर्तमान में हमें यह आंकड़े अंटार्कटिका स्थित भू स्टेशन से प्राप्त हो रहे हैं करेंट ऑल्टीट्यूड 617 किलोमीटर्स The relative velocity of 7.53 kilometers per second. अगले आठ उपग्रहों के अंतक्षेपण के पश्चात कुल 16 उपग्रह इस दौरान अंतक्षेपित कर दिए जाएंगे। उसके पश्चात यह यान अपनी यात्रा जारी रखेगा। तथा पृथ्वी की दूसरी ओर चला जाएगा उस दौरान वह हमारे ट्रैकिंग क्षेत्र से बाहर होगा अब यह भी घोषणा की कि की गई कि अन्य समूह वन ए थ्री ए फाइव ए तथा सेवन ए सफलतापूर्वक अंतक्षेपित कर दिए गए हैं अगली घटना में 2b, 4b, 6b तथा 8b नामक उपग्रहों को अंतक्षेपित किया जाना है एटलेट्स 2b, 4b, 6b, 8b आर सेपरेटेड। कंफर्मेशन हैज बीन अचीव्ड अबाउट द सेपरेशन ऑफ दिस रेंज ऑपरेशन डायरेक्टर 16 सैटेलाइट्स आर सेपरेटेड टिल नाउ मिशन इज कंटिन्यू रिमेनिंग 20 सैटेलाइट्स विल सेपरेट एज पर टाइमलाइन इन द नॉन विजिबिलिटी पीरियड this 20 satellite separation will be confirmed after Svalbard telemetry station activation. All stations involved in operations can continue in position. Others can reassemble at 0, 1, 20, hour, 20 hours. Over to mission director. declared 16 satellites out of 36 satellites were successfully separated and the mission is continuing. We will, as it is informed, we will assemble after the, the mission activities will continue and uh, we will assemble as declared. I will, I would, I am thanking everybody, those who have participated and uh, the, those who are witnessing this. The operation will continue. Thank you. We will assemble back at 1 tw 20 on 23rd of October 2022 so that the confirmation of the remaining separation events is achieved by that time. Jiha mission jari hai. Agle 20 ugrahon ka antakshepan kiya jana hai. और इनके अंतक क्षेपण की पुष्टि 40 मिनट बाद की जाएगी। तब तक हमारे साथ बने रहिए। हम पुनः उपस्थित होंगे 40 मिनट बाद। And the one working for this historic mission tonight, <coughs> in fact early morning of 23rd of this month, and happy Diwali to all of you. So we started the celebration already in uh, Sadeshavan Space Center, 
uh, with the first operational, second operational mission of LVM-3 and the very first commercial mission of LVM-3, we have accomplished the orbit very accurately. Now the rocket is in its intended orbit, 16 satellites of, uh, out of the 36, one by one spacecrafts have been already injected. I want to tell you that this is a very slow process of separating the satellites one by one. In fact, it is in sets of four, it will be separated and uh, it will take long time. So, uh, at this moment, uh, let me tell you that 16 have been separated very safely as we expected and the remaining 20 satellites will be separating when we are not able to see it from this place. The data will come a little later and uh, the mission operations of observing this separation is continuing and we will be confirming safe separation of the remaining 20 satellites after that process uh, is completed. I, I am very hopeful that the remaining 20 satellites will also get separated as safely as that they did for the first of the 16. Uh, I, this, is, this mission is a historic mission primarily because this is the very second operational mission of LVM-3 that has gone commercial and this is an opportunity that LVM-3 is able to do such a wonderful mission uh, today and this has been possible by the support of our Honorable Prime Minister Narendra Modi ji because he wanted LVM-3 to come into the commercial market with the NSIL in the forefront to operationalize our launch vehicles for exploring the expand the commercial domain that is open in front of us and congratulations to the entire launch vehicle team for take, grabbing that opportunity <clears throat> and making it ready today for this historic mission and I also want to thank the OneWeb team for having confidence in us to host it on LVM3 for their completion of their fleets <clears throat> and we are very hopeful that the next mission of LVM-3 will do the same to place the remaining 36 satellites that it has been contracted with NSIL for the next launch of LVM-3 M-3 mission. Until then, thank you so much and I take this opportunity to invite CMD NSIL and uh, come over here and then speak to the public and also to the mission director, Sri Bhaskar, to have his uh, final say on the mission. Thank you. Uh, good, good evening to everyone and present here and all the viewers who are uh, seeing this beautiful uh, and uh, extremely remarkable mission uh, that we have achieved today. First of all, I would like to compliment the team ISRO for giving us such a commendable mission of LN3 and the precise performance and I would say the most uh, complex mission management for the OneWeb mission. I am extremely delighted uh, to see the beautiful videos of OneWeb which we just witnessed now where we are seeing the satellites getting deployed in space almost at an altitude of around 600 kilometers. I am proud to say I am really delighted and honored GSLV has made the most remarkable entry into the commercial launch service market. Extremely thankful for OneWeb for having faith in us, in our launch and our, uh, I would say, the most professional and technical capability of the team is wrong. I think that though today's successful event is significant in many ways uh, to all the three major stakeholders of this particular mission, New Space Inter Limited, <coughs> Indian Space Research Organization and also OneWeb India and uh, the first and foremost thing that comes to our mind is that with this mission we have shown to the entire world how to contract and execute the mission in less than three to four months. I would really say <laughs> and this was made possible only because every one of us had the will to do such a mission in the record possible time which the customer was expecting. I'm extremely thankful. And the kind of synergy NSI, LISRO and OneWeb has demonstrated through this mission 
is really, I would say, is remarkable and unbelievable. And uh, today's one web mission, I would say, is the beginning of many more business engagement that NSIL is going to do with uh, OneWeb for further strengthening our relationship between the two organizations and uh, with the support of ISRO that NCL always has, I think we can achieve much more better successes and give much better things to the nation here. Back. So once again, thank you everyone. Thanks Team ISRO OneWeb for the beautiful successful mission and I am very sure the next 20 satellites we will hear in the next 30 to 40 minutes the kind of performance it's going to deliver to us. Thank you very much. Respected Chairman ISRO, Secretary DOS, all the dignitaries of ISRO, one web team, NWEL, customers, center directors, associate directors, deputy directors, mission executives, all the participants, and the honorable VVIP dignitaries of OneWeb and ISRO. A very warm good morning to all of you. I am <laughs> I, on behalf of my project team and the entire team ISRO, is very proud to submit this success to team ISRO. This was a demand given to us by Chairman ISRO to execute this mission in a very short time of less than three months. Once the requirement is defined, the entire team is ro rose to the occasion, worked with full vigor and systematically as is the wont of ISRO. The entire schedule was success based and concurrent processing was followed. There was no room for slip and everything has to be done right at the first time itself. Rigorous activities were complemented with rigorous reviews by both ISRO as well as academia so that no stone was left unturned and there was no slip. Marathon meetings with our OneWeb customers and Yensil and with volumes of data exchange was an immense process and it was helping each other. We were very proud that we could deliver what the customers expected from us. Praise and thanks be to the Lord, we, the team ISRO, has done what was asked by the management to our team. I submit this success, as our chairman told, as Diwali gift to all our team ISRO. <laughs> as our chairman told, this is first LVM3 launch of for international commercial satellite mission through NCIL to a low Earth orbit carrying about six ton payload the highest launch from our great nation. On this happy occasion, I profusely thank the entire team ISRO, including the top executives, project executives Mr. Narayanan, Mrs. Asha Mary Matthew, the entire project team, all the review teams, all the entity and the working teams, all the ISRO teams, and all the participating teams. I profusely again thank our Yensil for giving us this opportunity and having a very fruitful, positive and com contributing discussions and interactions. 
it was so efficient never we had any misunderstanding and we had marathon meetings almost every day and i also bring it to uh, uh, inform and thank the customers our one web that we were very happy and very satisfied in interacting with you and sharing all mutual things until the end we never had any difference of opinion and we never had any uh, dissatisfaction this i can honestly say and we have met all the requirements what the customers have asked now last but not the least i am thanking the entire family of all the team isro members those who have soiled and toiled for this mission thank you so thank you once again all of you uh, we are uh, ending the transmission at this moment uh, but the mission continues uh, we are waiting for the confirmation of the remaining satellite separation and all mission executives will occupy their position to observe that and thank you once again uh, for the, this wonderful mission both to oneweb as well as nsil for enabling us to do this tonight thank you so much